Michael Thornley and Ned Eckersley both scored hundreds and recorded the best scores of their careers as Leicestershire easily avoided an LV County Championship defeat against Glamorgan in Cardiff, where only one wicket fell on the whole of the last day. At the start of it, Glamorgan would have very much fancied their chances of winning for the first time in this competition this summer, but they were soon to realise that things weren't going to be easy for them once Thornley and Eckersley bedded in to add to their second wicket partnership, which had resumed on 73, with their side on 84 for one, 203 runs behind. This was as close as Glamorgan came to getting a wicket in nearly four hours, Thornley edging Hugh Waters only for the ball to go between first and second slips. After that, batting got rather easy for this pair on a flat pitch. The ball was already 37 overs old at the start of the day and it really didn't do anything for the home attack. Leicestershire could have come out just blocking their way to the draw, but Eckersley was having none of that. Indeed, neither batsmen were going to miss out on any four balls and they were soon batting with some comfort. Thornley, on his Leicestershire debut, having scored 100 for the seconds last week, was having a game to remember. His second half century of this match came off 127 balls, while Eckersley got to his off six deliveries fewer. Both men batted out the first session and Thornley celebrated that fact by hitting Marcus North for his second six, just before the break which was taken with Leicestershire on 178 for one. The former Sussex man has done a West Durston and got back into the county setup after performing well for the Unicorns in the CB40. Thornley made 97 in his first championship innings for Leicestershire in the first innings of this match. And he now went one better by reaching three figures for the first time in his career. What a moment this must have been for the 24-year-old Londoner, who until now must have been wondering where his career was heading. Presumably, he'll now be given a shirt with his name and number on it. Thornley had needed 236 balls to reach the magic mark in a game he was only playing in because of injuries to Will Jefferson and Matt Boyce. As he continued to find the boundary, adding to the 10 fours and two sixes he'd made in his ton, many were starting to think of many players who have made more significant debuts for a county. This pair had only batted together once before in the first innings of this game, but now Leicestershire's all-time second wicket partnership was under threat. With Eckersley also batting with ease and reaching his own 100 off 237 balls, just the second of his career, that stand between Chris Balderston and David Gower of 289 made back in 1981 was being closed in on. And what was even more impressive is that this partnership had come with their side under considerable pressure and facing an uphill task to save the game. There were certainly no gimmies. Incredibly, Glamorgan went 88 overs and four balls without taking a single wicket. But then, 20 minutes before tea, Thornley sliced a drive off Jim Allenby to Gareth Rees in the gully. Thornley had made a career-defining 131, an innings lasting exactly six hours. That partnership was, in the end, worth 245 runs, and Glamorgan still had the slimmest of chances as Leicestershire went to tea, still 16 runs behind but Eckersley and Ramnaresh Sarwan easily batted out the remainder, with Eckersley batting throughout the whole day when the game was finished at 10-5, to 5, with Leicestershire declaring on 316 for two. Eckersley, in his first game at number three, faced 307 balls in a 401-minute stay at the crease, time in which he scored a career-best 137. None of the ten bowlers employed by Mark Wallace could find a way past him. So Glamorgan are still waiting for their first win of the season, at least they took 10 points from this game, their best return so far, to their opponent's six. These two remain the bottom two clubs in the LV County Championship.